Hello, hello. Um, so I'm just back to show you really quickly the um, the Halloween packs that I've put together. There are four in total. Um, they're all fairly similar. I'll just grab the middle one just to show you um, what you get. Um, obviously, a lot of the stuff is is sort of handmade, so so and hand dyed. So obviously, you're going to have some differences there. Um, so really quickly, we have. Um, a tag with some um, sort of cream sari silk on there, torn sari silk. We have one of the little black um, envelopes with some fabric washi in. So I made this out of the same bits as the cover. So there's a few pieces in there for you. And obviously this you could use to mount into a journal. There are some little pieces of ephemera that I've just uh, included as well. So some spooky pictures. Pumpkin, spooky lady, really spooky lady, owl, skeleton. So there's some little pieces of ephemera there. There's one of the, as promised, one of the fabric tags. Um, so this is obviously backed onto coffee card, stitched. You've got the eyelet in there as well. So you get a little fabric tag. I've put a little brown envelope in with some vinyl and matte stickers. These are sort of gothic -y, um stickers, all different bits and bobs of spooky stuff. So you get a few stickers in there. Some of the clusters I've put together. So these are just a couple of the stapled clusters that I've put in. Um, again, they're all different. Obviously, these are handmade bits and pieces. Um, then we have, um, did I put three? Oh, no, I put four of the stitched clusters in there. So we've got that one in this one. Bits of fabric, bits of trim. It's upside down. Lots of bits and pieces, so you get four. And again, obviously, they're going to be different. I've included a few charms, uh, two charms in each one. So this one's a witch and a bat. Some have, some have got spiders, some have got pumpkins, um, some have got skulls, but there's a couple of charms in there. I've put one of the baseboard chips in each one, which is just a, a word. Um, there's the little cameo that I said I'd include. So I put one of those in there for you as well. The vintage trick-or-treat bag, which again, I mean, you could even make a diddy. I'm not going to fold it, but you could make a little diddy journal out of that if you really wanted to. And then the coffee dyed envelope that everything's going to be stuffed into. So there's one of each. So super quick. So they're just little ephemera packs, just little halloween -y packs, four available. So I'm going to stick those on my Etsy shop um, for you to take a look at. Um, and that's it. Cool. Thank you very much.